We're asked to find the inverse of this function. So if you consider f of x to be your response variable, like your y variable, uh, an inverse is where you switch the roles of x and y. So you, you, um, you solve, uh, you're going to switch uh, y and x, switch those places. And then you're going to solve this new equation for y. So the first thing I'd like to do is I want to get rid of that positive 11. I'm going to subtract 11 from both sides. And that's still a negative sign in front of 3y. And then I still want to get y by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides by that negative 3. Don't, uh, don't try to get the exponent. Uh, don't try to get rid of that uh, 3 in the exponent position right off the bat. You want that to be the last thing you do, okay? So divide negative 3 from both sides, so you get x minus 11 over negative 3. And there's other ways to phrase that. That equals y to the third power. And now here is where I can take care of the exponent. Now I have everything else gone. I'm trying to get y by itself, so that 3's got to go away. So let's raise both sides to the 1 third power. In other words, let's cube root both sides. Like this is the same thing as a 1 third power. So if we do that, we finally have y by itself. y is all this mumbo jumbo over here on the left. And so that's your new function. We write that, we rewrite y just with inverse notation over here. And that's not to the negative first power. And it's really confusing math notation. That just means the inverse of f. So the inverse of f, uh, here's how I'd type this in Mobius. Uh, I'd make a parentheses. And then I'd use the exponent. And then another parentheses to contain the entire exponent, the 1 divided by 3. Okay, so this is like the x minus 11 divided by negative 3 part that's going to go in here. I can make that bigger. Hold on. And then the 1 third power is on the outside. Took care of the exponent first. And now on the inside, I've got a fraction. So when I type fractions in Mobius, I make a parentheses, open and close it, and then divide it by another set of parentheses. This is like the top part of my fraction. And this is like the bottom part of my fraction. So if you type if you had this exact question in Mobius, typing this in should give you the right answer.